Hi, I'm Adrian. I work on the Flash Player team here at Adobe. Uh, over the last few months, I've been showing you as we've been making progress getting Flash Player 10.1 running on a variety of different devices. Usually in those videos, I focused on a single device and showed a couple of sites. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. I want to show you a few devices that are made by HTC, who is a partner with us in the Open Screen Project. The reason we're focused on HTC today is because they're working with a variety of different operating systems. It's useful to see a little bit of the differences between some of the operating systems, but also to appreciate that our goal, as well as HTC's goal, is to make it possible for people anywhere in the world, regardless of what operating system they're using, to get a great experience using Flash on their mobile device. Uh, the first one is the HTC HD2. This is a Windows mobile device. It's currently available. You can go out and get one on the market right now. It has an incredible screen uh, that's being driven by the Snapdragon chip. I'm going to show you a site that's very popular in Europe, which is Sky News, one of the dominant providers of video content and, and general reporting in Europe. But a few things that I want to point out right off the bat. Up at the top here, you can actually see that Sky News is using Flash as a mechanism for providing breaking news in their headline. And just as important, embedded here in the middle of this story is the use of Flash for video. We can go ahead and zoom in. Uh, this has got a multi-touch screen, so we can interact with it that way. I'll go ahead and push play and start playing it. There's a few things that are interesting. Keep in mind that Flash video is not just video that you download. It's actually video that's on the web. And so it has a lot of the interactivity of the web. So I just pulled up the menu. Uh, and then I'm showing you some of the capabilities that Sky News has decided are important for their readers. So Flash video embedded directly into the web is really about sharing, communication, um, and is one of the reasons that folks like Sky have chosen to, to use Flash to deliver their video. The second device that I want to focus on, uh, also built by HTC, is the Google Nexus One. This device was just announced recently. People are very, very excited about it, um, both because of its extraordinary uh, Android operating system, but also because it's got such a great physical form factor and the power of the Qualcomm chip inside of it. We were just talking about the way that Flash is allowed for sharing a video. One of the classic sites for that uh, is Blip TV. So all kinds of different content that's up here. Uh, here's a, a video dispatch from what's going on in Iran right now. So in many ways, you could think of this as being comparable to the type of video that we were seeing on Sky News, but this being user generated and user distributed. It's a little small, so let's double tap and zoom in. Another site that I want to show you is a gaming site. A lot of people are really excited about the potential for games on mobile devices because it's a real common use case. So I've navigated over to flashgames247.com. The UI that I'm seeing here is a little different from the UI you might see uh, on your PC or a laptop. And the reason is that this is showing just games that work really well on this particular device. So we've been working as part of our efforts in the Open Screen Project with a number of content providers to make sure that their content has been modified slightly so it'll work really well on these devices. This is a game that's been around for quite a while now. Uh, the basic way it works is you're trying to match colors with the, these little squirrely bobs that exist out there. So this is just one of hundreds of different games 